How's it going, everybody? Hope y'all are having a great day, a great night, a good morning, a great week. So what I have to talk about today, real quick, I'm not going to be talking long. Talking to a buddy of mine that I haven't met, but he lives in India, right? So I got this Indian friend. He's always you know, He always talks to me every single day, messages me, asks me how I'm doing. Real nice guy. Well, he has ankylosing spondylitis, the same autoimmune disease that I have. So he likes, that's how we relate to each other. So he tells me today, you don't like wasting your time or wasting your money on freaking rheumatologists. Because I keep telling him that I don't take no medicine, I don't take pills, I don't take NSAIDs, I don't go to the doctor for my AS anymore. And I don't even go to a physical therapist no more. I take care of myself. <laughs> I tell him, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna waste time, I'm not gonna waste money on a rheumatologist or any other doctor who doesn't agree with my healing methods or doesn't wanna open their mind to other possibilities strictly because of the fact that that takes money out of their pocket. But what doctors and these specialists need to know that they're gonna be phased out anyways due to automated robots. That's despite the fact. The fact is, is that these doctors and these specialists are more about the pharmaceutical companies who pay the insurance companies, who pay the hospitals and pay these facilities, who end up paying the doctors, paying the nurses and the specialists, right? It's a big chain. You do not need to support these pharmaceutical companies. This is just a short term mask for your issue that you're having, whether it be pain or something to do with uh, cancer, something to do with diabetes. A pill is not magic. It's not. There is no magic pill for anything. What you have to do is hard work and dil due diligence on your own self. If you think that the, you're trying to take the easy way out every single time through a magic pill, through something that your doctor tells you that you need to take, you know, you're having these specialists and these doctors telling you what you should be taking. Why don't you do the research and see what it is, those pills that you're taking? Why is it all of a sudden you're feeling different and have no energy? Could it be these pills? I don't know, but check it out. I've had one non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug this entire year. That was back in the beginning of January, okay? What an inset is, is basically like diclofenac, uh, ibuprofen is, you know, the main one that people take. And long-term use of this does nothing but rip your gut up rip your intestines up along with all these other drugs it does no good for your organs for the inside of your body it does no good absolutely so what you have to do for a long-term plan is to take care of yourself you know eating right understanding and educating yourself on the proper uh, way to strengthen your gut and your intestinal lining Strengthening that so nothing leaks out of your gut or out of your intestines and it invades your body as a foreign protein Because that's what happens it's, It enters your bloodstream enters your organs as a foreign particle, right? It doesn't your immune system doesn't know what's gonna happen. So it automatically Starts to attack those proteins and those particles those molecules of those foods that's causing that inflammation in your body auto immune so if your immune automatically starts up because you have a weak gut and a weak intestine, maybe you need to look at A, probiotics. That can be anything fermented, and you can also get, nowadays, the live capsule. Capsule, and I say live, and I say capsule, and I say vegetarian. I say it's the ones that you take, that you keep in the fridge, that you take once a day, twice a day. Okay, not the gummies, not the stuff you see advertised on TV because that has a load of sugar. Okay, and that does nothing but messes up your pancreas, spikes your insulin, your pancreas goes out of control, doesn't know what to do, and all of a sudden you're getting fat from taking probiotics. And not to mention, they're not live cultures. Okay, so they're not even going to register. You need, you know, 10 million, 10 billion live cultures in your system, not freaking 500 or a thousand whatever this low amount is okay so you got probiotics and then you have prebiotics that can be like leeks bananas oats apples these are all different uh, dandelion greens 
These are all different prebiotics. And if you put those together with the probiotics, tell you what, you're not going to get sick. And knock on wood, right? I haven't been sick in over a year. And this last year, I've really got myself under control with my autoimmune disease because it's not automatically affecting my immune system no more. I don't have them flares. I can stretch. I'm doing my physical therapy exercises that they taught me that I don't go to no more because I do it on my own time. Because if I want to do it and I want to get better, I have to do it for myself. And I have to believe that I'm going to get better. You can't half-ass anything in life and expect to get optimal results. Okay? If you want optimal results with your body, you've got to put yourself in that mindset to become better. And you've got to believe that you're going to get better. You've got to believe that you're going to uh, become healthier and stronger through this journey. And you cannot get journey without enjoy. So don't forget about that part. Enjoy the journey, guys. Don't fall trapped to the pharmaceutical drugs. Don't fall trapped to the greed that's all behind, you know, the the curtain, okay? All those people behind the curtain are wanting to take your money because you pay everybody. And the pharmaceutical company needs your money to pay everybody underneath them. And unfortunately, it's capitalism society. So all of us are holding up those rich people. So let's knock out their feet. Let's step away from holding them up. No more pharmaceutical got, pharmaceutical companies. They're not a long-term solution at all. Not at all.